Hello, my scrappy friends. It's Michelle the Stamp Barker, and I am here today with the small Close to My Heart haul. Now, I want to show you first out of the Essentials catalog, that is our yearly catalog that just launched this month. Um, we, okay, so I love acrylic. And um, I want to show you our acrylic. So we have these shapes and we have these titles, uh, words, and um, they come in nine different colors each set. So I ordered the white titles and they come in a little bag. And so I had a little bag like this and so I took them out and I laid them down so you could see and this is actually two so there's an inside and outside to the O right so you get days life memories happy sweet the best every and enjoy and then um, you can um, make different words out of them. Like, here's joy. Here's very instead of every. Um, you can even say like, no, bestie is I-E. But then you can make different words like happy days. Um, the best days. The best days and then you could do with um maybe stamp of our life i don't know memories happy memories sweet memories the best memories enjoy the memories enjoy these days there's so many different ways to use them and i love that they're not very thick um when close to my heart first introduced acrylic shapes a few years ago they were i believe twice as thick um, I don't think I have any here. I have little doodads over here. Let me see if I can find one. Mm, of course not. Of course not. Okay, so, and let me clarify. The black and the wood grain are not acrylic. They are our uh, laser cut laser cut paper board. So it's kind of like a thin chipboard. And so, I think that wood grain is just so versatile. Versatile. So, anyway, I wanted to show you that. And I wanted to show you, I don't really want to put them back in this bag. Because then, I'll have to get out the, the book to remind me what words there are. So, what my plan is... Um, this was shown by Jennifer McGuire recently. She uses the Pioneer, um, the old, you know, photo albums with that you pull the, um, the sticky back. Well, she's been storing like her stamp die cuts. And so I, I put in, um, this is a birthday collection from our last annual catalog and it had an assortment of, um, acrylic paperboard and die cut um glitter paper in sapphire and silver so like this make a wish can actually be put on top but i didn't put it on there because i wasn't sure and i have two sets of them i wasn't sure if i wanted to use it that way you know I'm not sure how I want to use it so I didn't glue it down but there it is in case I want to so I put this all together so I can find it all but um so put it on here and these um to make sure that I don't lose anything I just slip them into an eight and a half by eleven um sheet protector because these are actually so a little over eight wide and then 10 and a half tall. So they fit really well. 
even though they do have hole put, uh, they are pre-hole punched. Um, I actually just bought the refills. I didn't buy the actual book. Um, I think they might be cheaper to buy a whole book of them, a whole album of them, but I just bought five because, um, I wanted to try them out, right? I mean, you've always heard over the years how bad they are for our photos, right? So, it's a little worried. So, anyway, this is what I've done. I filled up my five really quickly. This was also from last year, last book, and this is some of that, um, wood grain paperboard. This is from a flower, I think in full bloom collection. And then this, these two were from, uh, Hello Darling. It was like a kind of a 4th of July theme. So it came in blue paperboard and then red acrylic. And then I was working on this really old one from, I don't know, but it had stickers and then it has uh, white glitter and this purple glitter. So just so I can see it, I'm a visual person. So I have one side left. So I'm going to put these on here. That's where I was going with that. I'm going to put them on here and then I can open up a three ring binder that I'm going to store these in and I'll just be able to flip to it when I'm looking for embellishments. So I'm super excited about that. Okay. And so I guess I should show you the paper I got since it's sitting here on top. I got the, it's called the good life. It's a new collection that is in our September, October book. And so I got the scrapbooking kit, which, and it gives you like this really nice, double-sided printed it's like a nice paper too um three two-page layouts now i'm not really sure i'm going to make these layouts but if i did want to the cutting guide is is all here i've taught classes um uh, for years making these kinds of workshops um but what i what i like is even if even if you don't um, want to make these layouts, these kits are really great because as opposed to just buying the paper and the sticker sheet, you're going to get, so you're going to get photo placeholders that would go for these specific layouts. So I have three by three, four by four, I also have three by four and then four by six. A lot of times I use these to map my photos. I'll cut my photos down just a tad and mat them in this. Um, occasionally if I have a light colored photo and I've printed it on my Epson Picture Mate, um, I might can see this lettering, um, but almost always it works. And then I get a small amount of um, the wood grain paperboard fence and some banners, stars, arrows, buttons. Um, there's actually a bigger set of this that you can buy separately. I didn't buy it. Now I wish I would have. Um, here's the sticker sheet. I love that they're um, heavyweight cardstock stickers and I love that these border stickers are full 12 by 12. So there's several um, title options and I love the colors. The colors in this collection are Espresso, which is the dark brown, French Vanilla, which is the off-white, Harbor, which is this bluish, grayish color, um, Mist, which is the lighter color of blue, Mocha, which is um, also a brown, and then Toffee, which is more of like a khaki color. So. We get six, six sheets of pattern paper. That's what comes with this collection. So this is what you can buy all by itself. Six sheets of paper and a sticker sheet. Or you can buy just the six sheets of paper. There's that option. That you cannot buy them individually, but why would you want to? Okay, so this is front and back here. So it's like a, a wood grain plank. And then here, it's also the wood grain plank, but with like windmill and um, some writing, like me 
maybe from um, a journal or something. So that's really cool. Um, this is also really cool. It's um, like tin. Um, and then the back side is this brown polka dot. And then I love this harbor gingham and on the back side is this really grungy looking um paper and then we have full zip strips this has little trucks um this one has a fence and so you get two of each see two of the same and then over here you get kind of like a grid in that harbor misty color What's cool about the workshop is you also get all of these punch out die cuts. So if you're not a big stamper um, or you just want to be able to stamp, uh, scrap it more quickly, these this might be for you. What is cool is if you do want to follow the workshop, every single die cut is labeled Project 1, Project 2, Project 3. So project one would be the first two page layout and then so on. So there's a lot. I plan on keeping it like this for right now. And here's a second sheet of them. And then again on the back, it's printed. Now, when you get the workshop, you get extra pattern papers that match with the kit. So, and they're, they're one-sided. So I just love this one. It's in that harbor color and on the French vanilla background. So just a bare, barely off-white. It's not like a strong off-white. Love it. And this is gorgeous. And then this one, I'm gonna try to hold up to the camera because it's a very subtle pattern. I don't know if you can see that or not. And then, so that's four extra sheets of pattern paper. So. So far, we've got the six and then the four. So we've got 10 sheets of pattern paper, um, sticker sheet, two sheets of die cuts, and then we have that little sampling of uh, paperboard laser cuts. But then on top of that, you get, let me see where this stops. I took everything out of the plastic bag so it wouldn't be so loud. You've got two of this harbor color, no, three, and then one of the mocha, and then um, toffee, and then this might be mink, I'm not sure. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then 10 sheets of pattern paper. So that's 16 sheets of paper, two sheets of cutouts, a punch outs, it's a lot. And then you can get it with or without the sheet protectors. Now, close to my heart, sheet protectors are like the best in the industry, if you ask me. They're, they're the thickest I've ever seen. And they also are just a little bigger than any I've ever seen, where if you have a lot of bulk on your page, your page isn't going to, um, it's still going to fit in there really well. It's not going to, um, you know how it is when you try to put a scrapbook layout in a page protector and it's just a little bit too tight, that's not going to happen. Okay, then also I got, I love how you can get cardstock in these custom packs. You can get a custom pack of 12 or 24 and you have to get at least two sheets of each color, which isn't a problem, right? So here's the new color of the year. It's called Journey. Here is the front. Here's a lighter side on the back. Journey. Okay, this is rosy. On the back, it looks like a pink, and on the front, it looks like a pinky red to me. Okay, and then this is Limeade. It reminds me a lot of a previous color called Sweet Leaf, at which I was very sad when it left. So I'm happy to have that color. This is pumpkin. I can see that being used a lot on fall layouts. And then this is acorn. Also a real fall warm color. 
And then this is called Royal. It is a very royal purple. Um, all right, so that's exciting to have those. And then I got the mix-in that goes with this current catalog. Mix-in papers um, match both of the collections. So in our current catalog, we have this, The Good Life. And then we also have a Christmas collection. So, for instance, like this is in Scarlet, a nice gingham, white tablecloth look. And it's that color on both sides, but you could add in this color to the good life. Maybe more in a smaller dose, like with this smaller pattern. And then this beautiful wood grain. It kind of looks like plywood to me. Um, and then on the back side is a small geometric pattern. And then we have pine, small geometric pattern. And then on the front is a nice grid. So very subtle. And then this one is in the um, brown. Very nice. Definitely can be added to the good life. Here's another pine. And then this is very, very subtle. Almost looks like and you know, like handmade paper that has like all of the um, little fibers in it. And then a black, which always is good. This looks like a starlit night though. I really think I might could use this on, um, my son has a telescope, so that might be a good one for that. And then the stripe is nice. So I usually act, Actually, I usually try to buy two packs of this because as you can see, um, there's only one of each pattern and it's um, on the backs of another coal pattern. So if you want like all 12 patterns, you need to buy a second set so that I will be doing that. They, I love adding in the mix in. It really extends, um, really extends the collections and also, like, when I am scrapbooking by color, I can follow this in my scarlet. I can follow this in my wood grain and this in my pine. And then I, there's extra pattern paper when I'm just putting together, like, my own kit. Okay, and this is the mix-in that just ended July and August. I'm actually not sure if it's still available. I will link it down below if it is. It's just such good basic patterns and papers. Um, we've got sapphire. We've got glacier. I love glacier. And then this is sage. This is honey butter. And look at this one. This one's toffee. And then this is mink. And let me turn them over and show you the back side. So the sapphire, the glacier, the sage, the honey butter, the toffee, and the mink. All really good patterns. Just that will go with any um, really theme of the layout if you're just looking for a color. And then I like that it's labeled so you know um, what mix in it came from. It has the year 2023 July. And I didn't show you those zip strips. Um, the zip strips just really add a lot to the layout, I feel like. Like this honey butter one adds mink and glacier to it. So that's really like the start. You can make a layout with those three colors. This one has sapphire, glacier, sage, and honey butter. You could also do that. Here's one that's just glacier, one that's just sapphire. And then over here on the current one, you've got the black. Uh, the pine, um, toffee, scarlet, let's see what's on this one, it looks like um, pine and black, here's a mink one, so use those zip strips, don't collect them, okay, so let's see what to show you next, what to show you next, which do you want to see, the stamps or the embellishments? Okay, you said embellishments. So the color of, year, of the year 
Plus My Heart has the color of the year every year and um, it's only available for that year. So you can get everything in that color. You can get the stamp pad, the reinker. You can get glitter paper 12 by 12. You can get shimmer trim, which is like a glitter, like half inch wide trim that's self adhesive. That's really nice. Um, um, you can get the sequins. Check out these sequins. Aren't those beautiful? I've already pulled out a little bit. I'm gonna send this to a customer who just recently placed an order. Um, also, here are the dots in Journey. So you've got circles, um, hearts, and stars in three different sizes. And you've got two sheets of that. So I'm gonna share a little bit of that with her. Also, I love these glitter gems in the journey and they come in two sizes. You can also get these in silver. Gold has been retired. They just add a lot of bling. And then there is a collection called Cozy Up and I had to get the dots to go with it because look at these dots. Are they not beautiful? I just love the glitter ones. Maybe I need to get a second one of those. Okay, so my customer is going to get some of this and some of this, this, and then she's also, hold on, let me show you. I'm a mess over here. What'd I do with it? Oh, they're not here. Okay, I'll show you in a minute. So, a lot of us are calling September scrap timber, but I don't know if you know, it is also stamp timber. And Close My Heart has a whole bunch of gorgeous stamp sets that you can get with or without the thin cuts. And they're only available in September. So look at this. We've got thank you, thinking of you, happy birthday, best wishes. I love that font. Hello, and then I love all these little words. You can stamp those in any color. Hooray, celebrate. These can go not only on a card, they can go on a birthday layout. You are the best, with love, it's your day. Hello, XOXO, happy. To the happy couple, always and always, with all my heart, just a little note to say. And then you've got the outlines. So it's almost like, you know how you can do the Cricut cut now where you get the offset? That's what this is. It goes behind it. Is that not cool? So you stamp directly on this paper that you cut out. And I love this best wishes. I love fussy cutting. I wouldn't say I love it, but I do, I don't mind fussy cutting at all. And, um, there's no way I could cut this out where it looked that good. I couldn't cut the insides of the B out. Also the hello, really all of these. Thinking of you. So I am going to make a card and pos uh, possibly a layout with this set and show you how to use it. Okay, this is the stamp of the month. And is it not gorgeous? I'm going to make a layout using this. I just see, I love the postage stamp. I love this little frame with the words. I love the, um, I call it a view master with the butterfly and the foliage. Here's little scrolly things thinking of you. Thank you. And of course the film strip. Oh, and up here, what's it say? I can't read it. This is happy birthday can always use a new happy birthday and I'm going on a card or on the layout. I love words on my layouts. Okay, so I'm super excited about that. There is also, this is the stamp of the month for October. So I have it early and my son goes to college where their um, mascot are owls. So I'm all about them owls. It says, hope your birthday's a hoot. From Alavis, Happy Alladays. Oh yes, you can make Christmas cards with this. Warm wishes, thanks for all you do. And what's cool 
is this stamp of the month you can get like I did uh, for five dollars or it's free if you are a VIP customer with a qualifying order but you can also get it with thin cuts now so you don't have to fussy cut these owls out or this um, limb this branch you don't have to now I didn't get it with that but it is an option for those that do not like to fussy cut we have heard you your suggestions okay and then these I got in a I guess it was a Labor Day sale so they are four by four and I am going to take it out so I apologize for this down but I order four by four photos through the Persnickety Prints app. And if you're interested in that, if you don't know anything about it, I will post the link down below for that too. But um, you just order 30 photos a month. You upload it to the app. And these, um, these just fit inside, like within your bigger scrapbook pages. So they've got the three holes. And you can just slip them in. You can get six photos in there in each one. So I was super excited about that because I got them on sale. Oh, look, and I almost forgot to show you this. Journey, uh, the Color Journey also comes with its own shimmer brush. And I'm going to open this up and show you how it works. But I um, also want to show you these are little petite perk. If you're into gnomes, check these out. This looks like Halloween. It says Magic Gnome. Here's the stripy gnome that looks like Christmas. This one says hello. And I have two of these because I'm going to send my customer one of these petite perks. And it's the cutest little stamp. And I just love how close my heart has them packaged. And this nice little envelope. It's got the sponge so that you can put it under your paper to stamp with. And the cutest little gnome. And it fits on one of our 2x2 two two, um, stamp blocks. And then you just color it in. Or you could um, paper piece it and stamp it in all the different colors and cut it out if you want. I prefer to just color. Okay. So hopefully tomorrow I will get that in the mail for her. But let me show you how this works. And look at that. I've just scooted all those letters over. I'm going to have to refigure out them. Okay. So on these, they come with this yellow spacer. And you're going to take that out. All right. So what you do is you just, and they're labeled. That is nice. Okay. So you're going to take it apart. And then you're just going to take that off. And then you screw it back together, right? And I store these upright with the colored end up so that they don't leak. Okay, then shake. Always shake. So what it is, it's going to have the color of Journey and it's going to have a lot of shimmer to it. So it comes where the tip is obviously not Journey color yet. So you're just going to squeeze it a little bit. Squeeze. All right, and see now the tip is this color. So you can take it and you can do mixed media with it. You could color. Now, see when it first came out, it had a lot more glitter than normal. So one thing I like to do is I like to put a little bit on acrylic block and then I take it and I flick it. Let me show you. Bubble that. Oh, my thumb is going to be that color. And then you just flick it. Is that not cool? Okay. I am going to let you go so I can go wash my thumb now. It's, it's really usually not that messy. <laughs> That's just me being a little messy. But um, thank you for stopping by. And I will be um, making some projects with... Um, these new products so let me know down in the comments what you would like to see me work with first
All right. Thank you and have a great day.